Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live on our Proton, or excuse me, Patreon channel. I don't know why I keep saying Proton. Oh my gosh. Anyway, hey, listen. Uh, Credit uh, uh, Scott King, the former wife, I shouldn't say former wife, the wife of Martin Luther King Jr., who passed away, uh, uh, gosh, it's been a number of years ago now that she passed away. Uh, how many of you guys actually knew that she actually ran for president of the United States? Wow, well, didn't know that. I didn't even know that. Uh, but I happened to run across this particular uh, site here mainly because I was looking for information in regards to her daughter, her youngest daughter, Bernice Albertine King, who was born uh, March the 28th in 1963 in Atlanta, Georgia. And, uh, and of course, uh, Miss Scott King there, she... Actually, of course, she lost lost the race here, and I think she got less than a half of a, of one percent of the vote. But you know that's probably doing pretty doggone good back in uh, the days when there was so much animosity and so much prejudice uh, to black people. And uh, you know, I, I remember growing up as a, as a little boy. I remember those things myself, so I'm very much aware uh, of just how much hatred there was, especially in the South, uh, towards the, the uh, African-American community there. And, um, you know, and, and of course, you know, as kids growing up, you never can understand why do people have such prejudices to start with. Uh, I was very fortunate myself, though, growing up in a family that uh, uh, was not like that. Um, I remember even my grandfather, uh, Lou uh, was his name, uh, and uh, Lou Henrich, and and my grandfather, God rest his soul, he had a uh, black friend when he was a little boy. And of course, he was born back in the 30s. So you could imagine what he had to go through to have this friend that was a black young man uh, growing up. In fact, I hear, would hear the stories about how that he would get a beating for playing with this little boy by his father. His father really did not like that. Uh, his father did pass away, though. I think by the time my grandfather was eight years old, his father passed away. But I remember one day meeting a man that knew my grandfather, and he says to, to me, he says, you have to ask your grandfather about, and he names this guy, and uh, this and it was a black, the black man. He said, ask him about where we tried to wash him until he would turn white. We put him in a wash tub and we kept washing him. Says your granddaddy's friend, and your granddaddy got tired of getting beat for playing with this little boy, and so he said, "Look, we got to turn you white." And so we put him in a wash tub and we scrubbed and we scrubbed and we scrubbed, but it didn't do any good. And I asked my grandfather about the story, and he started laughing and he said, "Who told you that?" And I I forget now who it was, but I told my grandfather who it was at the time, and uh, my grandfather said that story is true. And he said, uh, and he named the black man by his name. He said, we were lifelong friends. He said, until the day he died, he said, we remained friends our whole lives. Uh, he said, yes. He said, I never would give up. And my own father would uh, end up with a very similar type story as well. So that being said, the point is, is it's just not in us in human nature to be prejudiced in the first place. Uh, but with, with what I'm going to share with you now, though, um, and it has no, no bearing on what I just said there, uh, Bernice is actually going to be groomed to be the next president of the United States. Uh, I actually got this information today, and I'm going to play a little clip here of Bernice right here, uh, Bernice King. Uh, she is also a minister from what uh, I understand, what it says right on there, Reverend Dr. Bernice King there. She's also the CEO of her father's organization, uh, probably an organization started after his passing, but, but let's listen in just for a moment here, and I want to tell you a little bit about this. Towards women and girls and everybody, I rise to urge everyone to affirm respect for the dignity of women and girls everywhere and to make a lifelong commitment to protect females from violence. In the words of my father, Today, the choice is no longer between violence or nonviolence. It is between nonviolence or non-existence. 
and I'm rising because we must end the violence or we will all become extinct. Instead, uh, very passionate and uh, just listening to her reminds me of her father. Uh, you know, of course, I was not uh, old enough to remember these things, but, uh, you know, just going back through the history and listening to the speeches he gave, she sounds a lot like her father in the passion of her speech uh, there. But, uh, and, and I'm not saying this in support one way or the other as far as her running for president of the United States, but the point is, is that right now the Democrats are looking for her to be the next president of the United States. Now, they do not believe that they can garner the votes in this next election for her to catapult and become president of the United States. But however, there is a very strong consensus that she will actually run uh, in this election coming up in order to get her feet wet, so to speak there. Uh, but they're more they're looking for a little further down the road, uh, 2028, for her to actually become president of the United States at that time. I remember, I told you a little while back, I actually uh, believe that we were looking at um, uh, the, the, young, the, the lady that ran in Georgia uh, just recently for governor. Uh, and, and, and I'm sitting here saying that as I'm drawing blank on her name and I know her name like the back of my hand. I can't seem to remember that right now. Uh, but um, Stacey Abrams, there we go. Stacey Abrams uh, um, is the, it was the one that we were looking at initially but I think where the problem came in with Stacy is they just never could get her over the hump. They could never get her. Uh, she was the candidate that would have been the next president of the United States, or not next president per se, but uh, when they go to have a, they want a black lady to be president of the United States, I knew that Kamala Harris would not be that candidate. Uh, and Stacey Abrams was the one that was favored for it, but they can't seem to get the votes garnered for her. Uh, so now they are uh, they have decided to go with Bernice uh, King as being uh, that candidate. So that's something that got shared with me. Wanted to share that with you there. More things to come, guys. I just that was one of the one of the little tidbits there. I wanted to uh, send out to you. Going to get to you. Come back. We're going to talk a little bit more about the the things that are going to be happening here on the Earth. Some very troubling things, and I want to share and update you with those things as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live here on our Patreon channel, and thank you for listening.